Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are accused of fabricating press hounding. In their new documentary teaser, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to have included a photo that they gave their approval for, all the while complaining that the media was invading their private. The most recent trailer for their eagerly awaited Netflix docuseries shows a photographer snapping a photo of Harry, Markle, and their little son Archie in 2019, while they were on an official tour of South Africa at Archbishop Desmond Tutu's residence from a balcony. The photo may have seemed obtrusive, but it was actually taken by a member of the authorized press group that was present at Archbishop Desmond Tutu's residence. Robert Jobson, a British royal correspondent, tweeted on Monday, this photograph used by at Netflix and Harry and Meghan to suggest intrusion by the press is a complete disgrace. It was stolen from an authorized swimming pool at Archbishop Tutu's Cape Town home. There were only three occupants of the accredited post. H&M concurred on the stance. I was present. Jobson then published a picture of the former royals meeting Archbishop while Archie was still a newborn. He captioned the image, this shot by me from the same accredited pool location on my iPhone, was taken at Archbishop Tutu's Cape Town mansion. Nothing was inserted. I was a member of a trio in a UK palace pool. No one else was permitted inside, and we communicated with UK media about the words and pictures. On official engagements and international travels, the royal family frequently invites a selected group of journalists to accompany them. Only one or two reporters and photographers will frequently be allowed to attend certain meetings during these travels, such as those with Archbishop Tutu. After that, they distribute their reporting to other journalists. Chris Shipp, the royal editor at ITV, said, Robert Jobson makes a good point here. At Archbishop Tutu's apartment, Archie was filmed under strict supervision. And with their consent, a camera from ITN Productions was there to capture the Sussex's Africa documentary. There was no press scrum. Tom Bradby was spoken to inside. Following the revelation that the paparazzi photo featured in the first teaser, released last week, was actually shot at an official Harry Potter premiere, the picture was used. According to The Sun, the photographers were actually in London, photographing the star-studded cast of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Part 2. Five years had passed since the incident, in 2011, before the prince and the former Suits actress finally met in 2016. The most recent teaser also featured a brief clip of photographers flocking around a court in the UK, where British celebrity Katie Price appeared in December to get a DUI sentence. As the video played, Harry narrated, I was afraid, I didn't want history to repeat itself. In another video, Markle said the royal family would never defend her as she was surrounded by photographers who were huddled around a car. The scene then transitioned to a shot of Meghan wiping her eyes while appearing to be in tears. However, Markle was not being pursued, rather, the video shows Michael Cohen, a former lawyer for President Trump, leaving his New York apartment in 2019. Liz Garbus, the director of Netflix, did not respond to our requests for comment. The pair also criticized the hierarchy of the family in the most recent peak, alleging that insiders leaked and planted lies about them. They utilize footage of Princess Diana and Kate being pursued by paparazzi as they discuss the sorrow and suffering of women marrying into this institution and call royal life a dirty game. As we previously mentioned, the show will have its three-episode launch on Thursday, December 8, followed by another three episodes the following. Australian Republicans are using Prince Harry's attacks on the royal family as a political talking point. A monarchist said that Republican activists in Australia are utilizing shocking statements made by Prince Harry to further their cause. An Australian monarchist claimed that Republican campaigners are taking advantage of allegations made by Prince Harry in his memoir. The royal family is being attacked, according to Philip Benwell, national chair of the Australian Monarchist League, following the release of the contentious book Spare by the Duke of Sussex.